SIPPV mode allows the patient to trigger a time-cycled, pressure-limited breath. Each inspiratory effort of the patient reaching the preset trigger threshold level will initiate a breath. The number of breaths per minute is determined by the patient. The following parameters should be set. Eye flow. This should be set according to patient needs. This flow controls the pressure rise time of the inspiration. If set too low, the P-insp is reached more slowly. E-flow. This should be set either the same as I-flow or about two-thirds of it. It maintains the PEEP level in between the mechanical breaths. For neonates, this is usually set to 6 liters per minute. PEEP. 4 to 5 centimeters of water, depending on clinical protocol. P-INSP. 16 to 18 centimeters of water, depending on clinical protocol. This pressure controls the tidal volume. It should be set to 4 to 6 milliliters per kilogram of body weight. Eye time, inspiratory time. This is set depending on flow waveform to achieve the optimal tidal volume with the lowest P insp. It is usually set between 0.3 seconds and 0.5 seconds for premature infants. Frequency. This is set to achieve a minimum minute ventilation according to clinical guidelines. Trigger. Set the sensitivity level according to clinical guidelines. Usually between 1 to 3 on a scale of 10 is a high sensitivity. There are two kinds of trigger mechanisms. One based on a flow trigger and the other one based on a volume trigger. Both are automatically adapted in case of leakage at the ET tracheal tube. Volume guarantee. 